Well, how about y'all? This is Daniel Nicholson with Nicholson Farms. We got Maddie with me again today. Uh, today we're gonna finish up what we were doing in our last video by hanging a gate here on our property line next to our neighbor's property where we have permission to let the goats graze. We've got a 12 foot gate that we need to hang. Uh, in our last video, uh, we got the brace post set and we also buried a wire that's gonna go underneath uh, the gate to connect our electric fence all the way around. Uh, so now these posts are set. It's been about 24 hours. Uh, they're pretty sturdy. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the brace. Uh, what I like to use for a brace is a metal fence pole, a uh, chain link fence pole. Uh, we've got a bunch of these somehow or another. My granddad ran across a bunch of, of chain link fence and posts. And I've just been using them for brace for a long time. I've got one right here. Right here. Uh, these work great. Typically the first thing that's going to rot on your on your fence is your brace post if you use a wood uh, brace. So using these fence posts, they're galvanized. They're not going to rust. Uh, they're going to last you a long time. Uh, so what we've got to do is first we've got to cut this to length. Uh, but I'm going to put a nail in on one side and then we'll cut our length in and then we'll kind of shim a nail in to the other side. And then we're going to run brace wire uh, both both directions. I'll explain that in a second and kind of pull these two posts together. This is going to keep them from go getting too close at the top. And then the ground's going to hold them where they need to be at the bottom. Uh, we'll explain the brace wire. Uh, wh which direction you need to run that when you do here in a second. Uh, let's get this galvanized post cut and put up and we'll show you the, the rest of it here in a second. I sec. like to put my brace wire at the top of where my, my top strand of this is going to be. But being that this fence needs to come up some and we're going to have bob wire on top of that, uh, we're going to go ahead and put it, you know, about right here. I reckon that's a good measurement. Just going to drive this side in. That's going to give that that post something, or that, yeah, that fence post something to rest on. It'll just slip over that like that. And then, got a knife somewhere, I thought. I don't know where it went. I can hold my finger for a second. Just going to kind of make a mark. I'm going to make it a little bit longer than what the actual distance is. Uh, so, it'll be in there pretty snug. And I'm gonna take my saws off. I'm just gonna cut it off. Anything else have a battery that's charged? We got some cute little helpers this morning. Rody, you hot? All right, so now we got our nail in that one side. We're just gonna slip our post over. Wow, I really cut that wrong. Oh well, it's short. It'll be all right. We're gonna draw it in here in a second. We're just gonna figure out where that level is. Right about there. Then I'm just gonna put my nail right there. So now our brace is hung up. It's a little loose, but whenever we put that uh, wire on there to our cross wire, our brace wire, it's gonna tighten it up and that shouldn't be spinning at all then. So with your brace wire, this is gonna be pulling both directions. You're gonna have a gate pulling it down this way and you've got tension on the fence trying to pull it that way. Uh, so we're gonna run a brace wire going this way and this way and we're gonna twist them in the center. Whereas over here, we don't have any tension on this side of this post, but all this wire is pulling that way. Uh, so you're putting your tension at the top of this post, it's pushing your brace 
that way to try to keep this post from pulling with the fence over time. If you were doing a brace in the middle of a long strand, uh, you'd go both ways. It's just, you're trying to put your tension against the point that it's pulling from. Okay, to start your brace post, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come right above where this, this cross is, or this H brace, and we're gonna put a staple in right there. Give something to feed your, your wire, your brace wire through. We're also gonna put one at the bottom And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Time to start running our brace wire. We've already got our staples in. Uh, what we're gonna do is feed through one side, which this fence wasn't in the way. We're just gonna feed it through, get a little good little bit out there. Stab. And then when we come down to the bottom on the other side, we started on that side of the post. We're gonna go to this side of the post. So we're gonna be kind of crossing, kind of as like a figure eight. We're gonna go through here. I'm getting where to we're about the center. And go ahead and bend that and make a loop kind of tie that off and when we come down from the other side kind of get a little tension out making sure we have enough Wrap that, that side's done. Do the same thing from the other direction. So now we got our, our brace wire on there. We're gonna go ahead and, and start tightening it up. We're just gonna go through the middle of all these wires. And just kind of twist them up together. It's gonna be tough with this fence behind it. And this is gonna start pulling in on your bottom of your post and your top and just kind of holding everything together. And you can go too much and you'll break this wire. You kind of kind of have to watch it. You can see areas it's starting to get weak. Uh, typically, I just tighten it until my post is good and, and tied up here. So now we're going to go back and put our staples uh, just so those wires don't work down. You can kind of see how this wire is trying to work down. Uh, while we we're stapling, I mean, while we we're twisting, we're just gonna put those in, like I said, so it doesn't move. So I guess the next step of this process is let's cut the fence and make our hole for the gate. I'm gonna go ahead and grab on to this bob wire. I don't want it taking off. And I've gotta be able to put some tension back on it. So I'm gonna hold it with a hammer. I'll go ahead and cut enough that we got enough to wrap around the post. Get it about where I want it. I wish I had a crowbar and another hammer, but I don't. Just gonna get it right there. We're gonna find that barb. Hold it right there. it around we're just 
gonna wrap it to itself. All right, so before we cut the wire, I wanna go ahead and staple it to this post uh, so we don't lose the tension that we already have. I don't wanna feel like re-pulling this wire today. Uh, like I said earlier, this wire was kinda of low. We're just gonna raise it up just a little bit. I don't want a big gap underneath. And then we're just gonna go down. I'm gonna staple every single wire at the end. Like I said, I don't want it losing tension. bit slightly smaller uh, than what our hinges are I'm gonna start right here I kind of lined the gate up already I kind of know where my bottom one needs to be uh, so we're gonna go ahead and drill that one first started I'm just gonna hit it with a hammer a couple times get it in there Honestly, it's going in so good. I'm not even going to twist it. I'm just going to hammer it in there. I'm going to pull my gate over. Make sure I'm clearing over there and see if I need to go in any farther. That's about perfect. we are going to put it facing down that way nothing can come and pick this gate up and throw it off the hinges made the mistake of the gate up at the pig pen one time the pigs learned they could get their snouts underneath the the gate and lift it up off the hinges so you always want to make sure it's locked into place nothing's going to put it make it fall down So to make sure my gate's level, we're just going to level up the hinges. So 
So it's time to hang the gate. To get Maddie to get on the other end, kind of help me out. Got it a little too low. Pick it up. Well off camera, I went ahead and hooked up our electric fence. I've shown it many times. Uh, but what we have here is just an insulator lag bolted into our post. Coming around, crimped it. This is the crimp that's going to go to our wire that goes under the ground, under our gate. And then this crimp right here goes to our hot wire that we have on the base, on the perimeter of our, our fence right here, uh, next to this pasture, just kind of help with predators. And we've got everything tight. Everything's good to go. The gate is up, it's swinging. I just threw a little chain on there for right now. I do have a latch uh, that I wanna put on here. I don't want this gate to be able to move at all. A baby goat could get out of that for sure. I don't want any kind of predators pushing on this and I don't want the goats pushing out. Uh, just cause although this pasture over here is fenced in, there's a couple spots that the goats could, could potentially get out of even this and get onto the highway. So I uh, don't want to risk that. So we need to put a good latch on that and make sure it's good to go. Also, I'm probably going to put some wire on this gate. Uh, the, the mamas can't fit through that, but the babies, they can definitely get through those holes right there. Uh, so that's going to be something I, I do eventually uh, coming up soon. Probably we got, I got some wire laying around that I can throw on there. But I am pleased to have this gate up. Uh, this is a project that I've been putting off for a while. I uh, wanted to get done. I'm glad I got it done. It's going to allow us to, to move the goats over to this pasture a little bit easier, not go through the yard, not tear up my mom's bushes and stuff like that. Uh, so happy to have it done. Maddie already snuck off. She said it was getting hot for her. It is hot. I still have a little more work I want to get done this morning uh, before it gets super hot. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I really appreciate you hanging out with us. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Keep up what we got going on. Hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and leave us a comment, and we'll see you all in the next one.